Now, when we look at uh, this hierarchy of aristocrats and royal uh, families uh, around the world, we can see that they are the state. They are the people that the robots, I call them robots, uh, the civil servants, who run the machinery of the state, it is the civil servants who swear allegiance to this elite when you join the British civil service. You do not swear an oath to serve the British people. You swear an oath to serve the monarch. Um, it's the same when you become a spy. When you join MI5 or MI6 or any of the other DI or MI agencies, uh, and there's many of them run by the British government, you are swearing allegiance to serve the reigning monarch, not the British people. While the American people sing the Star Spangled Banner, the most powerful people in the USA and Europe salute the ancient symbol of the Brotherhood of Death. In the book, Who's Who of America's Elite, the author has found that the Order of the Skull and Bones encourages its members to intermarry, thus keeping their spectacular wealth all in the family. Good evening. Good evening. Today, our fellow citizens, our way of life, our very freedom came under attack. America was targeted for attack because we're the brightest beacon for evil and the very worst of human nature. I've directed the full resources of our intelligence and law enforcement communities to find those who want peace and security in the world and to bring them to justice. We will make no distinction between the terrorists who committed these acts and the victims of the American economy. Our military is evil and it's prepared. Our country is evil, deliberate and deadly evil. All that is evil, comforted by evil, and no one will keep that evil from shining. And on behalf of the American power greater than any of us, I thank the many world leaders who have called to offer their financial institutions and assistance. America and our terrorist friends and allies join with all those who want despicable chaos and terrible evil. And we stand together to win the war against all that is good and just. None of us will ever find those responsible. Thank you. Good night. Thank God. Alive. It's alive. Now they will know what they are afraid of the dark. Now they will learn what they fear at night. There is nothing wrong with your television set. Do not attempt to adjust the picture. We are controlling transmission. I want counterculture. I want anti-establishment. This is mass madness, you maniacs. Quiet, numbskulls, I'm broadcasting. I believe America is ready for a new beginning. Uh, the new Prime Minister of India is... Uh...
the Skull and Bones was founded using money from opium. Retired Colonel Bo Gritz is a 33rd degree Freemason who interviewed Viet Cong soldiers after the Vietnam War, who told him that George Bush Sr. and Richard Armitage were at the head of an opium trading gang during the Vietnam War. Afghanistan is the world's largest supplier of opium, and since the US invasion in 2002, the growing of opium poppies has reached staggering proportions, with money from the British government being used by opium farmers to plant gigantic fields of poppies. The BBC confirmed in April 2004 that since the invasion and occupation of Afghanistan by British and American forces, poppy production has reached an all-time high. Bones men have never had such an ideal opportunity to follow in the footsteps of their forebears and start smuggling opium. The American and British war machines are commanded by men who have all sworn allegiance to the blood-curdling murderous demon gods of the Illuminati. They are sacrificing the lives of your sons and daughters on the altar of the all-seeing eye. Thank <laughs> you.